Alright guys, welcome back to another video. I was asked by one of my subscribers to how to change the gear out of the scale versions 2 and 3 from the Huey and the Bell. So this is how I'm going to do it in the easiest way. So the first thing we're going to need to do is take off this bottom plate right here. Alright, so once you get this plate undone, the bottom plate just pops off. So the next thing we're going to need to do is unscrew this hex screw on the inside that holds in the gear um, flat plate. So we can access the bigger hex screw, the 2M, that goes through the gear fixed plate to the shaft. So you just need to do one. And this is also 1.5. Screw that. So that should just come out like that. Just need to screw it to the side. Next thing we need to do is to unscrew this screw that's holding the shaft together. So it's a lot easier if you come through the front like this and just unscrew. All right, so once you get done, done you can just use your finger or needle pliers to get out the, the screw that holds in your gear to the shaft. Move that to the side. Now, the next thing we need to do is to remove or unscrew the, the anti-rotation bracket that your swash plate little point end sticks out of. So mine broke, unfortunately, when I was um, working on this. Um, there was a structure crack, so mine popped off. Pretty much it's a 1.5 millimeter screws. There's two on the back. So for this demonstration, I'm just going to go do do do, and it pops off. Once that is off, the next thing we're going to do is unhook the linkage uh, that goes to the swash plate. So we're going to pop that one off, pop this one. And then the next thing we're going to do is come to the back. And then the easiest way to pop this off is remove it from the servo arm inside. So you just get your fingers on the inside and then just pop it out. Sometimes it's, I think it's easier to just come from the front, use your smaller fingers. And comes like that. Okay, so once you have it popped off, this should just free move around, right? And then next, we just hold the shaft on one hand and then we hold the gear on the bottom and we just pull up and the shaft and the whole head comes undone. And then we slide the gear out from the receiver side. And next, we unscrew the little heck, uh, little screws that are holding in this um, gear plate. Now once that's done, uh, to get this uh, plate out is to push right here. And it's just a little bit of pressure and it should just come out just like that now to put this all back together let's say this is a new gear flip it over you see this little indention right here this uh, plate will go back in the gear plate push in you hear that snap snap into place and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put those small screws that we took out from the plate to hold this in place and we're just gonna put three in and we want to make sure that we do not block, put the screw that's above the bigger hole that goes into the shaft, okay? So leave this one right here where the big screw goes in out. Okay, so make sure you do not over tighten this um, because if you strip these, this will be a pain in the butt to get out. All right, so now we have everything ready to go. You can see that this screw is not in, and this is where the whole, what I'm talking about, what I want to do, make sure. Okay, so now, next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna slide the gear back in. So this is your top, this is on the bottom, and it just slides in. Now we want to grab our head assembly, and what we want to do, so let me slow down, so when you slide this in, you see this hole right here in the shaft? We want this 
to be, we want to be able to see this hole through the shaft holder, the, the gear holder, right? And you want to make sure that it is, you can see right through. And what I mean by that is, perfect example right here, how, that's how it's supposed to look when you put it back into the housing unit. And I'll show you close up what I mean when you get the screw in. So just slide this in. So once you got your shaft and your gear flush, slide in that screw and it should look like this. And once you have it in like this, all you need to do is tighten it down. All right, now we got everything put back together for the shaft, got it all hooked up. Next thing we need to do is put back on the anti-rotation bracket. And since we left the linkage to the servo on the edge right here, we don't have to put that back on because it's free floating because we're gonna hook this back up to the servo. So all you do is slide this in and then you get your two little screws that you had that was holding this and you just twist and turn, lock it in place. Now once that's in, you can start hooking up your uh, your servo links um, that go to the swash plate or linkage and you just snap them in place just like that. And then the next thing we need to do, once we have that together, that we got one screw left that we have to put back into the um, bottom of the gear that holds the, um, the plate in place. So all you gotta do is put that in for the last step. And then you can actually do this after you get the gear secured. I kinda just do mine last. Um, so there you go. And then the last thing we need to do is put in the bottom plate, just like this. All right. So once we got the bottom plate in, that's pretty much it. And that is the tutorial on how to change the gear on the scale helicopters, uh, the Bell and the Huey Gen 2, Gen 3. Um, and honestly, the Gen 1 is somewhat the same too. It is, it's just a little different. Um, you can do it with the Gen 1 um, if you have it. So I hope this helps you guys out who are new to this hobby and new to flywing helicopters. Um, this is just some of the maintenance you're going to have to do if you do crash and damage. Usually your gear will get stripped. So this is probably the most easiest way to get to this gear. And honestly, it will take you about 5 to 10 minutes to get this done and put it back together. And it's ready to go. So I uh, hope this video helped you guys out and have a good one.